If we have this here, the measure of trust, say from zero to 10, and then we have the measure of certainty also from uh, zero to 10. What we find is if we have low trust and low certainty in what we're trying to do, we get a lot of objections about why we can't do something, why it's not working, why we need to change a bunch of things. And effectively, then we get a higher order or a higher level of procrastination, which feels good at the time, but really you're only messing yourself over in the end. So when we look at a low level of trust and a high level of certainty, generally what we have here is we have people with a skeptical kind of attitude. So we might be laying out to the team that they can achieve a certain amount of results in a particular situation. They may have trust that that may be possible for other people, but they're not very certain that they can actually achieve it. Then we have, if somebody's got a high level of certainty, but also a low level of trust, then there might be a situation where they find themselves with some confidence either in their own ability to do something, but a low level of confidence in the product or the company that they're representing, or perhaps a low level of confidence confidence in their sales manager or the owner of the business. When we have a high level of trust and a high level of certainty, we have people taking action. Putting in place your KPIs and the metrics that you're measuring will actually help you to build your trust and certainty around the various areas uh, of what you're actually achieving.